Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are just going to discuss the lead code problem of the day and today's problem is sort vowels in a string and it is a medium level problem. So if this is going to be a screencast solution, that means I haven't solved this problem before. If I show my submissions, they, they, they are not any submissions and I will be trying to solve this problem and try to explain you how we can solve this problem. So the problem says that we have been given a string s and we have to permute s to get a new string t. All consonants remain in their original places. Okay, what was non-decreasing order as chi values? Okay, that is cool. Yeah. So basically, uh, the for the very first thing that I can do is, uh, I can create a vector of characters, vowels. You will see in a while why I am doing it like this. So, A, E, I, O, U. Similarly, A, E, I, O and U. Now, I can sort this vowels vector. Uh, vowels. Now, uh, what I essentially have to do is let me just take the size of the string s size and uh, I will also uh, create a vector take. Let us say we are just going to take some characters. So, I am just going to traverse to the string and if binary search, so this is an inbuilt C function, uh, vowels dot begin vowels dot end and my current character then what I am going to do is I am just going to push it back into my take vector push back s of i right so I am taking all the vowels in a separate vector now I just have to sort this take dot begin take dot end and I am just going to include a custom comparator so uh, return integer I am going to convert it into integer and integer b Right, so I believe this should work, and it what this this will do is it will convert it into integers. The sky value itself, what they are asking here, and uh, let me just again just make this for simple for loop the same for loop, and uh, now instead of pushing it back, I just have to uh, do so. Like this, one more thing I can do is I can try to reverse the order. So, the first one will be bigger and then I can do s of i is equals to take dot pack and take dot of pack. Let me just try this once. Okay, so it is getting accepted here. Yeah. So, this solution is correct. Okay. So, what we do have here is uh, you see that. Uh, so, there are a couple of things here. The first one is this vowels vector. Uh, I made this vector so that it is easier to compare any character and check whether it is a vowel or not. Right. I sorted the vowels vector. Although uh, it, uh, I don't know if it is necessary or not, because like uh, let's just print it and see what is the sorted order. I. And then we can just run it. You'll see what is the sorted order. Yeah, so that is exactly why I sorted it. So, you see uh, the sky values, I can also show you if I have it here, yeah. So, the sky values of capital A, right, let us just find capital A here, yeah. So, it is. it actually starts from 67 and A starts from 97, right. Since capital A is smaller, it is. It occurs before then smaller A here, right. So, the alternative that you could have done is, uh, 
you could have just directly write it written it this way but i was not sure uh, I, I did not exactly remember which one of which of them is smaller so i just decided to sort the vowels vector right but instead you can also write them in this order it is also absolutely fine so that that is why the order changes now what i do is i just uh, take the size of the string and i'm just going to uh, create a vector called take so they have asked us to like uh, sort these vowels only and all the consonants will should remain at their places so i take all the vowels in this take vector now how do i verify whether this is going to be a vowel i just do binary search in a vowels vector so since all these vowels are now sorted in increasing order binary search should work and this is the inbuilt binary search function now once i take them all in the take vector i'm just going to sort this take vector so you see earlier i used less than comparator but now i use greater than comparator so the reason behind this is because if i used less than then i would have to maintain a, some other pointer variable which is going to store the correct index of the take vector right so for example i should maintain a p variable let's say p so p is equal to 0 means that I, the next value that i want to take it as position 0 then it is going to be incremented to 1 then 2 then 3 then so forth and so on right but i did not want to maintain this that is why i just sorted the whole vector in reverse order now what is the benefit of this you see what now i can do is i can take the last element and pop it back from the vector just like i do push back i can also pop it back right this is the only advantage i cannot pop from front because that is going to be o of n popping from back is o of 1 right so that is why i did it this way the other approach could be you can just take it less than and maintain another variable p for marking the positions on in this particular take vector so basically for all the positions i took from here i am placing a new value here right this is exactly what you have to do in this particular problem and you see that it is accepted and this solution is correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution and if you guys are like uh, uh, able to get some value from this new kind of format then definitely do tell me by writing down some uh, good comments and also drop a like on this video it's just that your engagement with the youtube videos really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems so that is it for today i hope that this video was helpful and brought some value so till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye